It took several days, but what happened in Orlando caught up with me. And when it did, all I wanted to do was get away. I spent most of my teens and twenties in various, fairly religious contexts. So while most gays were adopting the queer clubs and bars as a relief and refuge, I would drive by places like Pulse in Orlando, think, what if, and keep driving. The news flash across my phone lacked the emotional punch to the gut it had for others. This place they had carved out where you can be brown and gay and for one night feel just like everyone else in society, free of judgments and fears. And that is where they were told, just try it, I will come and kill you. I want to say I am Orlando, but know there's a gulf of experiences that separates me from those that lost their lives that night. This is the question we ask our country. Are we one of you? I was once told, I don't mind if gays hold hands, but do they have to do it in public and shove it in our faces? Yes, we must. Because if you marginalize us to where the only places we can be like the rest of you are buildings with no windows, in the night when the rest of the world has gone to sleep, you know the message you're sending about how to treat us in the daylight. And so we marched. Muslim, Christian, Jewish leaders, the mayor and his husband, a city behind them, committed to creating a space for the grief and anger and a response that values the dignity of both the Muslim and the LGBTQ communities. I don't have a clue how to truly stop these massacres. But what I do know for certain is that you know someone right now who woke up this week to a group of innocent people hunted in the night for the crime of being American and being gay. And I promise you, it's scary. Reach out to them. Say something to console and comfort. Enough of us grew up wanting to kill ourselves, we don't need any more terror and hate added onto the way we were taught to hate ourselves. Please, you know exactly who you need to love on right now. Don't be afraid. This is how we overcome evil.